Welcome to this SolidWorks tutorial guys. In this tutorial, we will be using the surfaces tool to create this airport in SolidWorks. So let's begin. First, click on part and click OK as we are working in the part file. From here, change the background to plain white for better visualization. And here, make sure that you are working in MMGS that are millimeters. Now click on front plane and click on sketch. And for reference, I am making here vertical and a horizontal center line this is a vertical center line and here create a horizontal center line as well for reference now here select the second type of this spline and from this point to this point and finally this point create a spline like this now select this line make relation horizontal and select this line make relation vertical now let's define it for that select smart dimensioning tool and here specify the length of this center line as 2 mm and the vertical line as 3.2 mm. Now we need to mirror it. So here select mirror entities. In this window we need to select the spline and mirror about window we need to select the vertical reference line that we have created. And check the box. Now select mirror entities again. In this window we need to select both of these splines and mirror about this horizontal reference line and as you can see now the sketch is completed we can exit the sketch from here now as we want to create a loft so we want to create a plane and on that plane we will be making a sketch so select our plane and in this first reference we need to specify this front plane 10 mm offset distance is fine and check this box from here. So this plane is created. Now select this plane and click on sketch. And now select this ellipse from here and create an ellipse like this from center point to this point and expand it like this. Now we need to define it. Hold control key from your keyboard. Select this point and this origin and make relation vertical. After that select smart dimensioning tool and select these two points and here specify the height as 18 mm and the horizontal distance as well which is 13 mm. And now we are ready for the loft so exit the sketch from here. Right click here and in tabs make sure that you have enabled surface tab. This is surface tab. In this tab we have option for this lofted surface. Here we need to select both of these sketches. So in this window I am selecting this sketch and this sketch as well. And now we need to specify some constraints. So drop down this menu and normal to profile as start constraint only and check the box. Now hide this plane as we have nothing to do with this plane anymore. And for better visualization I am applying this appearance. This is by the way an optional step. You can skip if you if you like and now in surfaces we have option for this extend surface and in this window we need to select this wide entry this only edge and here specify the parameter as 5 millimeter and select these two options distance and then check this box from here and after that now here select the field surface and we need to select this edge and here we need to define as curvature so that it will have this shape like this and now check this box from here as we have to close the other surface for that i am selecting this planar surface and select this edge and as you can see it will get closed check the box now we need to make a sketch on this surface so select this surface and click on sketch and here select the normal tool so that we can actually see this surface now select this surface and select convert entities because we want this sketch now select this edge and select offset entities and here we need to specify the offset distance which is 0.5 millimeter and select reverse make sure to check this base geometry as well and then check the box in surfaces we have option for trim surface and here select this trim surface and select keep and click ok 
now uh, we need to extend this surface internally so here select roulette surface and here make sure that you have selected this perpendicular to vector option and now drop down this menu and uh, okay we need to specify some parameters this is one millimeter and uh, clear this window and in this edge selection window we select this internal edge and now we need to define the direction so i am selecting this right plane in this window and as you can see this is now corrected you can flip the direction as you like and check this box from here now we need to close this surface for that i am selecting this planner surface and select the internal edge this one and this inter this surface will get closed check this box from here and now I, I want to join all of these surface so I'm selecting knit surface and select all of these surfaces and check this box from here okay and now select this top plane which basically cut this part in half like this and click on sketch select here uh, normal to from here and now select a line and I'm making a reference line from this point to this point so this should be center line select this line and make it as construction geometry to convert it as center line now select line and from this point to here this point make a line and now select three point arc from this point to here this point in space make a spline like this and now select this midpoint and make relation tangent hold control key from your keyboard select these two points and make relation horizontal select this line make relation vertical okay now select smart dimension tool from this point to this point here specify the distance which is 1.2 millimeters then select this line and here specify the length of this line as 10 millimeter and finally the radius of this three point arc which is 15 now as you can see it from here the sketch is fully defined exit the sketch from here as we have to trim the shorter surface so here select the trim surface here select this sketch and in this window since we want to keep the larger surface which is this one and check this box from here the shorter surface will get trimmed like this okay and now we need to create a sketch on this top plane so select top plane and click on sketch from here make it normal to and we need to make a circle here then we will be extruding this circle so here specify the diameter first the diameter for this uh, circle is 8 millimeter from this point to the center point of this circle here specify the distance which is 9 millimeter and from this origin to the center point of this circle here specify the height which is 12 millimeter the sketch is fully defined as you can see it from here go to surfaces and select extrude surface here we need to select offset and offset distance is 5 millimeter it should be downward the direction should be downward you can change it from here okay and now we need to define the distance the length of extrusion basically which is 25 millimeter and check this box from here the length of extrusion should have a direction downward as well and here we need to search for move and copy and this is move copy uh, command select this one and select this body in this window we need to rotate it by 25 degrees so here specify 25 and check this box and as you can see now this is rotated by 25 degree okay now here select lofted surface right click here and select select manage selection manager and we need to select all of these arcs on this surface so select one by one everything so that it can make a closed loop and check this box it has appeared here now simply select this edge 
and now we should define some constraints so i am only specifying the end constraint which is normal to profile and check this box from here okay now uh, select here planar surface and select this edge and check this box from here now select here net surface and select these two surfaces because we want to create a fillet here so select fillet and specify this area and here specify the radius for the fillet and check the box now let's apply some appearance so you can select this surface and here uh, specify any appearance you like and similarly on these edges as well so that's how we create this air pods in solidworks by using the surface tools so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching